Welcome back to the Quick Start Blueprint. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this video, we are going to talk about choosing your page template, which is the very first step you have to go through when you are doing a funnel build. And as before, I have some training I've done in the past here. Uh, this first video here is about choosing your funnel and more what it's really about is going through kind of the dashboard and where all your funnels exist and your contact database and all that. So it's kind of an over overview of a lot of things inside of ClickFunnels. And then down here, I go through an overview of the new user interface that I'm going to show you here in a minute or two. And then we go through the cookbook builder process. And you'll see that in a minute when we get inside. But this goes into very in-depth Russell's cookbook, how he uses it, all the pages within it, and how everything gets set up is a really good primer on how exactly to build and set up a funnel. So I strongly suggest you go through at least this video. And then I would also suggest you go here and get the cookbook for free from Russell. And then we also have the classic funnel builder, which was of course the original way that they built funnels in here. And it's a way to go in and pick out templates. All these are ways to go in and pick out existing templates inside of ClickFunnels, or if you choose to build the funnel and the pages from scratch with no templates. And that's the way I tend to do it because I will warn you up front right now, one of the biggest problems with using any of the templates inside of ClickFunnels is a lot of them have CSS code in them, and some of them even have JavaScript code. So a lot of times when I'm working with somebody and they say they're having a problem getting something fixed on their site, I always ask them first, did you use a template from ClickFunnels? And a lot of times, more often than not, when they're having a problem, the answer is yes. And then we go in there and we find that there was some sort of custom code in it. So what I always suggest you do is uh, when you go in here, you find a template that you like. First off, and I'll show you this too, first off, go in and make sure there's no code in it if you're going to insist on using it as is. But what I suggest you do is download the funnel, pull up the page, pull up the code, pull up the, the it inside of the builder itself, and then just kind of build it yourself. Build it on a completely new page yourself. If for no other reason, then it teaches you how to build it. It's known as design hacking, and it teaches you how to build your funnel just like theirs. And of course, it also gives you great experience inside of the page editor itself. So the very first step we have to do in order to build a new funnel is we're going to go to our ClickFunnels dashboard page. And we can come down here and we can click on here where it says build a funnel. Or we can come up here to ClickFunnels and come down to where it says build a funnel. Or we can go into where all of our funnels are. And of course, you also have the funnel marketplace here where you can go and find templates uh, for your funnel. So I'm just going to come up here to the top first. Uh, to where we have all of our funnels. And this is the new interface I was talking about when I said right here. So it's a walkthrough here of all the features and functions of this new uh, funnel interface right in here. Lots of different things you can do, lots of different ways you can sort things. Uh, so go through that video if you want to know more about how to use this page here. But what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the top here and we're going to click on build a new funnel. Now, when this page loads, it always loads the cookbook version in the back, and then it puts in the classic version over the top of it. So let's just turn off the classic for right now, and we'll take a look at the cookbook version. And like I said here, we'll just open this up, and you can go over to this page. There was a link right there, and download your free version of Russell's cookbook. And um, I also suggest buying the physical version. I have one on the shelf right behind me here. I should have grabbed it before I started recording. But so in this cookbook version, as they call it, you can come along the left side here and you say, okay, I want to build a funnel for, let's say, professional services. Okay. So you saw it all kind of move things around there. And then let me see, I want to generate some leads and, oh, let me see, sell a product too. So you can click more than one. So let's undo that. We'll just say we want to generate a lead. And then I want their contact information or I want them to fill out an application. Well, let's just say contact information for right now. But then, oh, here we still have our choice of an application funnel. So let's just take a look at that. So we will select this funnel right here. And it takes us to this page, which is part, again, of the 
of the cookbook process. You can watch this video here on Russell, how he explains exactly what an application funnel is. And then we can come down to the bottom and we can choose any one of these funnels that we want. And so what, let's see what happens when we click on it here. And it takes us to the next page so we can see exactly what this is going to look like when it's downloaded into your ClickFunnels account. Now, like I said, you can look at this at this point and say, okay, well, I don't want to just get to this template. I want to design hack this thing. So you open up your, your funnel page and you just build this thing out so it looks exactly like the one you have here. Again, it, it keeps you from getting into trouble that you might get into if there's some sort of garbage in that share funnel but it also teaches you how to design hack it teaches you how to build out these pages in the editor and that's that's obviously a skill that is very valuable in this but now let's say what we want to do is we want to get that funnel so we'll click here get the funnel and it is now loading it into our account so we'll give it a little bit of time here to load up and now here it is in our account. So we start off with an opt-in page. We have a second opt-in page. And then we have a thank you page. And one of the things you'll see as we move forward here is when you download entire funnels, it will pick out exactly... Uh, what those page types will be and in this case here because it's a fully completed funnel not just a funnel uh, template because it's a fully completed funnel it will already have the design right in there so now we're going to go back into our funnels again and we're going to say we want to build another funnel and so we already did the cookbook version down here. Now let's use the classic version. And of course, you can say I want to collect emails, sell your product, or host a webinar. And then when I click on collect an email, I can just put in the name of this funnel. Or we can go back here. We can say we want to sell a product. And then we got our choice of three different things. We can do a sales funnel, a product launch, or a membership funnel. So in this case here, let's just choose that we want to do a product launch. And so let's just say we will call this a PL demo, just so I can go find it later and get rid of it. And then we're going to pick any one of the different groups that I have. So right now, let's just put this into our contact or our cookbook group. And then we're going to build our funnel. Now, because we picked a product launch funnel, it's going to give us all these uh, different pages here on our left-hand side. And for each one, it will already have chosen the page type. So in this case here, we have this first one here is a page type of opt-in. So that's why this is highlighted right here. And then it shows us all of the email opt-in templates. And you can also say, oh, only show me the email opt-in templates that I did myself. I showed you in an earlier video where you save all of your templates. Well, it just pulled up all of the templates that I have that are known as an email opt-in template. And one of the things I always do is for every page type that I want to build on, I always create myself a blank template for it. So that way, like I said, I always start all my stuff from scratch. And so I start with a blank template. I know that there won't be any kind of um, CSS or tracking code or anything else in there. Now, this one here, I don't think I built that one, but let me, let's turn this back off and let's find one that I know I did not build. Let's just select this one here and we'll let it pull up. And then we're going to jump into the editor real quickly. And of course, I'll show you more in depth on how to use the editor later. But we can come over here to settings and we can come down to custom CSS. And okay, good. There's no custom CSS. So I would also guess there's probably no custom footer or header tracking code. So that's good. So this is a clean funnel. They don't have anything in here that might trip you up as a beginner. So that would probably be a good template to use. So now when we come back out and we come to the next page here, we're going to see here instead of having this one highlighted, now we're over here sales and product launch is highlighted right here because we picked out an entire funnel template ahead of time. It is now giving us one, two, three, four pages all with this product launch page type. That's what is known as is a product launch page type. So then again, we can come down in here and we can 
pick out which one of these we want. So let's see which one's the most complicated looking. Let's grab this one right here. We're going to pop in that template. Again, for myself, I would use a blank template and completely build from scratch. But now let's come inside here and let's check this again. Do we have any any tracking code? Nope, no tracking code. Custom CSS. See, now here we have a bunch of custom CSS. And I know how to read this, uh, but if you are new to this, you may not know how to read this. And you, you'd you be in your site and you're working away and you're saying, how come I can't get this thing to change colors? How come I can't get rid of this shadow around here? Because that's what a lot of this was, is a lot of this here is box shadow here. We got a clip path polygon on the page. Um, we got Z indexing that they're think Z indexing is going to put one thing in front of another. Uh, we've got a bunch of that in here. We got some more box shadows, but let's take a look at where we got this clip path polygon right here. And that should be, yeah, this is this part right here on this page where this dips down like this. Now that's a cool effect unless you don't know what's there and then you could be scratching your head and having all kinds of problems for days. So again, if you're going to use somebody else's templates, come in here, see that there is CSS in here and know that that can affect what you are seeing on your page. So let's just jump back out of this. And again, we'll come back in here and we'll come down to build a funnel this time. And we get a little bit different interface because we're not in the uh, where, where all of our funnels are listed. Now we're on a totally different page. We already went through the cookbook, but now let's go back here to create a new funnel. Now, something I haven't shown you yet, of course, is also this here. So we're going to say browse the funnel marketplace, and I'll open that in a new tab. And in here, again, there's all kinds of different funnels that people have for sale or are even free. So you can shop your templates. You can find an expert. Uh, custom design templates. Just, just click on templates here to see what we can have. Uh, so here are all different paid ones, but here's a here's a free one. So let's uh, let's click on this free one. So again, if you like this design, which for me it's blinding me, but um, if you were to like that, you can come in here and you could just design hack it straight away from what you're seeing on this page. Or we could say get the template and let me see here, log into your account, create your account. I'm already logged in, so we will just put it into our account, I do believe. And I had to click on the button again and it says confirm the purchase even though it was free. So now it says processing your order. Um, use my new template. Okay, let's see what get, this gets us here. Okay, so now that pulled us right back into the editor. And again, you see here we have an opt-in page already preset, an opt-in page type. We have a click pop page type. We have an order form page type and a thank you form page type and it all loaded in here and that one was totally free but again as i caveated before make sure you go in there and check to see if there's any kind of custom code that could be causing you any kind of problems and now let's get back to this page and so here we had just clicked on this right now and went to the marketplace the one other thing and this is the thing i always do is i just come here and i say i want to create a custom funnel so this means that every single step of the funnel, every single page of the funnel, you can call them either one, a step or a page, they're very interchangeable. Every single one of those I have to choose myself. I will use my blank templates, but the big thing here is you have to make sure you choose the right page type because each page type has different functions and we're gonna go into that in depth in the next video. So here we got this, so I want to call, this is my, this is my funnel name that I'm gonna give it now, so this is, this is a test. That's what we're going to call our funnel name. And then we're going to just going to put in cookbook again, because I'm going to delete all these back out. And we're going to say build our funnel. And it's going to bring me straight into the funnel editor page. It doesn't pull in anything else because I didn't tell it a template to pull in. We're just going to completely 100% build this from scratch. So on this first page right here, I get to look at my page types. And like I said, we're going to go more in depth in this in the next video. But then I can say again, only show my templates, or we can show all the templates. We can just pull in all the templates. And then like I said, in my case here, and again, I want to make this an opt-in page. So we want to make this an opt-in page 
and we're going to show only my templates and we're going to scroll down and we're going to grab a hold of this blank template and then we're going to go into the editor and I will show you what you can do is because all you do is you just take one of the other other templates and you just come in and for every one of the rows or every one of the sections you just come in here and you just delete 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 get rid of all of those sections and then you come into your tracking code make sure there's nothing in the footer or header and make sure there's nothing in the custom css and you can also as well then your typography set them however you want it if you always use a certain font um, then you can set that in here. If you always have a certain link color that you want to use, you can set that there. If you always have a certain background color or background image, you can set all these in here so that when you open up that blank template every time, it is a nice fresh canvas for you to work on exactly how you want it laid out without having to deal with somebody else's work. So that is really it. So like I said, in the next one, we're going to go into how to choose your page type and the difference between the different page types and how very important it is to make sure you pick the right page type the first time because it's very, very difficult if you start building on an opt-in page and you go, oh no, I really needed to be on that order form page. It's, it's, it's not impossible, but it takes some work to get everything from here over to here. It used to be almost impossible, but now you can save the sections on the first page and then input them into the other page. But that again for a different video. So if you got any questions, just let me know.